Wait, you already mentioned it, Japan. That must have been a fucking awesome time. I heard it's the, I heard they treat you like God there. It was one of the best experiences my wife and I had. We went over there. It was at the end of my career. And it all started from one of the emails I sent over there. And a guy who was a goalie coach, Hiroki Wakabayashi, he's still a good friend of mine, works down in Arizona with uh, some of the uh, uh, amateur clubs. Emailed me back. It took two years. He found a team. I flew over and visited. It was awesome. It was a small fan base, but very passionate. Food was unbelievable. And at the end of the year, Hiroki tells me that he really only understood half of what I would say to him when I'd have to translate, and no one else there spoke English on my team. But I loved it. That's unbelievable. Our buddy Matt Murley played over there, and he said the f you mentioned the food, and he said it's the cleanest place he's ever been in his life. Hands down. Amazing. I mean, you live on an island, you're going to keep it pretty clean, and that's what they did there. And there's no trash cans. 